So for particle physics, for the standard model, what does inertia do for us? Well, like conservation of charge, electric charge, there are other symmetries in nature which are even more hidden. So we only know about these symmetries that are hidden because we have conservation laws. So here is Noether's insight coming in and telling us something's going on. So what are these laws? Well, they're rules that tell us certain things either can or can't happen. So for example, two blue-eyed parents cannot have a brown-eyed child. That's something that we kind of are familiar with, but it's the same sort of idea in particle interactions. Two particles may not be able to interact to produce a third. Some are allowed and some aren't. Another thing that happens is that particles tend to line up. We like to spot patterns. We're very good at pattern spotting. And these patterns uh, that, that we find in nature reflect the underlying symmetry. So that, this logical conclusion, led us to the standard model. So it was Noether's insights, uh, nudged along the way, of course, by some excellent theoretical physicists, that gave us our fundamental theory of particle interactions.